this week I cleared my Databricks Data Engineer Associate Certification. Many people keep on asking like how I prepared and all. So for them I am just preparing this video. To begin with, I strongly believe giving certification should be an ultimate aim after you have enough hands-on experience whether it's on project or whether you have done certain amount of practice yourself. I personally followed that. I also believe that building bridges is very critical for those who have, get, who have gotten their certification. Uh, they must pass on this knowledge so that, so that the coming guys should be able to um, get this information and it should be easier for them. So most important is to help the aspirants. In order to help them, I am going to write some articles um, and I'll post the link uh, of that series. Even I'll create the YouTube videos for them as well. When I first look at the syllabus, it felt like everything was boring. Everything from Lakehouse Fundamental to Spark SQL Cluster, Delta Live, Unity Catalog, everything was there. So instead of just trying to memorize the documentation, what I really chose is the path to relate. Every concept I tried to relate to the real world projects. The projects which I have already worked on. For example, when the study material talked about the declarative pipelines, I immediately connected it to a streaming ingestion project which I built using autoloader and DLT. Now this mapping of theory to a practical that we have already done, whether it's a real project or whether it's a project that you have done for your practice, it makes it, it makes it makes the entire process a natural process. You don't have to then remember everything. Another part that helped me was revisiting uh, revisiting the basics, getting your basics right. I went back to Scala examples because when I saw the when I saw the questions that were given as a sample, there were a lot of Spark Scala things that basic concepts were asked. So we ran the transformation, checked how lazy evaluation worked, even monitor some of the Spark UI because there are a couple of questions on Spark UI as well. It wasn't about remembering syntax. It was about developing the intuition of what could be the wrong answer. So that helps a lot. I also spent time um, in understanding cluster serverless SQL and deployment practices. So these are new things that has come up. So for example, in case of clusters, um, serverless is being given a huge importance from Databricks since last two years. So there were a couple of questions in which serverless was the answer or the related uh, related answer was once you understand the serverless concept well, then only you will be able to figure out. So in terms of cluster, you should be able to understand the entire journey of Databricks clusters. And the, and the ultimate aim that they have is to become serverless. Warehousing. Databricks recently introduced a full-fledged warehousing SQL warehouse, SQL warehouse. So that also I just tried to understand the concepts of. And then the deployment uh, related practices like Databricks asset bundles. So these are a couple of things which I tried to read along. What helped is Unity Catalog study. Unity Catalog is a black hole. So Unity Catalog is a governance layer which runs across the Databricks platform. So from two years before, uh, there was no Unity Catalog that hardly or strictly implemented on Databricks. But now the Unity Catalog is the basic of everything. It's a blanket that covers the entire Databricks platform. Therefore, studying Unity Catalog in depth is essential because it there were direct questions on Unity Catalog as well as there were a lot of questions where, where right syntax on Unity Catalog or right knowledge of Unity Catalog help you to separate out the wrong answers. Therefore, studying Unity Catalog is extremely essential. And the most important part, Udemy, uh, there are few links of Udemy. I'll post it on the comment section. So those Udemy links helps a lot. The reason behind that is Udemy course, courses create a structure of how the exam is going to be. And the exam is at least in terms of structure very close to what Udemy practice tests are given. So in short, 
these are the topics i would suggest still people ask like what all topics should i learn so these are the topics that we must know in depth when you say that i am ready for exam first is lake house platform declarative platform declarative it's not platform actually it's declarative pipelines let me correct declarative pipelines is a, is a new form of new name given to dlt delta live table that is a product from databricks it's an amazing product and delta live uh, has been renamed and morphed into something called declarative pipeline that's an again amazing product too there are a lot of questions on declarative pipelines one thing to notice databricks has revamped this exam last month itself and declarative pipelines is ga last month so there there are a lot of questions coming on declarative pipeline and slowly that percentage is i feel going to increase cluster management and databricks serverless in cluster management i already mentioned serverless play a very critical role deployment and deployment and dabs so databricks asset bundle is a new way of how you do a ci cd on databricks with their own version of things it's an amazing product i'm still exploring my hands on on that and i'm planning databricks certified professional exam in that dabs is one of the important topic so basics of spark and scala how spark works how job works how scala is used to manipulate that or even python dlt expectation there are a lot of expectation questions on delta live table because dlt is there it is just being renamed to delta uh, declarative pipelines but there is a beautiful feature in dlt that is expectations that help you build the data quality framework around dlt there were a lot of questions on that and then as i mentioned spark sql and warehousing spark warehousing very important topic and unity catalog these i think are the eight key point eight key topics which you must learn and then i plan to put around 100 plus videos around small small concepts and questions that come on top of it so that uh, it helps any person to prepare his exams so you must subscribe to get the notifications of this question the exam has been revamped i passed it so i just want to help the new aspirants to get the right knowledge and be able to pass this exam as well Databricks is an amazing data and AI platform, one of the world's top data engineering and AI platform, and I I feel lucky to be associated with the kind of uh, innovation that these guys are doing, and this is my uh, small tribute to pass on this knowledge uh, to those who are interested in. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for uh, listening. Please do subscribe to get uh, continuous updates of these Databricks certified data engineering associate exam. Thanks.